Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing the goodness of God, and to do that we'll first be talking about goodness in general. Last episode we discussed a little about the essence of goodness, the properties of good things. Today, can we divide goodness into categories? There are lots of different kinds of goodness and several ways to categorize it, but one that's been around for a very long time and covers basically everything is this. Goodness can be virtuous, useful, or pleasant. A virtuous goodness can only be had by moral agents or their actions. For example, if I give a warm coat to a person in need, that's a morally good thing for me to do, and because of that, it's a virtuous action. That's what makes it a virtuous goodness. Then there's the kind of goodness of a wrench, which is still able to turn nuts. This is good not because the wrench is doing something moral, and not necessarily because I find it pleasing, but because it's useful, and that's what a useful good is. Finally, there's the goodness of a beautiful picture. I notice that the picture is good, but not because it's useful to me, and not because I think the picture is more moral than other pictures. Instead, I find it pleasant, so, that's what it means for something to be a pleasant good. In general, this seems to be a good way to categorize goodness, and all goodness of every type fits into at least one of these categories. However, is there any real difference between these three types of goodness, or is it all in our heads? Actually, there is a way to prove that they are really different. As we've discussed before, all good things are desirable, and the real difference between the virtuous, useful, and pleasant goods lies in why they're desired. A virtuous good can be desired for its own sake. For example, we can want to help a suffering person and do right just because it's the right thing to do. A useful good is desired as a means to an end. For example, we don't desire the wrench for its own sake, but because we can use it to loosen or tighten nuts. All useful goods are desired for the sake of some other goal which they can help us to achieve. The pleasant good, by contrast, is only desired in order to satisfy our wishes. Because of this, we can say that virtuous goods are the highest type, followed by useful goods, which can help us to get virtuous goods, followed by pleasant goods, which are merely about satisfaction. Because this is a genuine feature of different goods, and not just something we made up, we can conclude that this is a good way to categorize different goods. Next time, the goodness of God himself. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.